Hello and welcome to this design and technology lesson and in this clip we're going to look at two-point perspective so this is creating a two-point perspective drawing and for this drawing we're creating a cityscape so I'm just going to go through and show you how I created this cityscape and then I'd like you to have a go and create your own so if we can see here from this cityscape we've got a vanishing point there, a vanishing point here and a horizon along there and all these points go, or sorry, all these lines start from a point here and all, every line goes to the vanishing point. So um, let me just show you how I started that and how we can get on. So first of all I've, I'll draw a horizon now the horizon can be higher or lower and that will give us a different perspective. If you uh, remember in a previous clip where we drew a block and we can change the positioning, the, the view that we see of the block by changing the height of the horizon. Then I'm going to mark a point here and I'm going to mark um, vanishing point there and I'm going to mark vanishing point there. The equipment you'll need for this are is a rubber, a pencil and a ruler, preferably a 30 centimeter ruler. You might also want to use a fine line pen. So I've created my horizon and now I'm going to pick a point here. Um, we've got the horizontal line and at 90 degrees, so vertically, I'm going to create a light line that is going to be the front edge of the position of that building. So we're going to start from this line here and what I'm going to do is pick a bottom height and a top height for that corner and then placing my ruler at the point on the vanishing point I'm going to move it until it meets both of those and then I'm going to draw lightly that line. I'm going to move it across here as well and move the line lightly there. Then I'm going to this side, put my ruler on that point there and there and there. Now if we take, so we've created this edge here and we have this shape. Then we need to decide how far along here. Now I could put a measurement here but I'm just going to so we can see there that I have now created that shape of a building perhaps if I just outline that shape with a fine liner now I could use a ruler I'm going to do it freehand Oh, yes, right. um, and we can see that I've created that first shape or first block of our building so we've now got this block here so now we want to add another building I'm going to add a taller block here just behind it so I'm going to put a line here and a line here and make our building that size. Remember there should be foreshortening. Foreshortening is the effect that as things get further into the distance they become shorter. If you think of our railway tracks, we had railway tracks, as the lines got up here they would appear closer. So the, the buildings can get shorter as they go into this distance, if that makes sense. I've created this line here and I've created this line here and then I'm going to mark the height I want for my building there, it's going to be a taller building and I'm going to mark that point and I'm going to here to that point there. Then I need to decide where my building is going to finish, perhaps it can finish there. So here now we have a building in between. Perhaps if I what you might find with this is as you're drawing it you find that you start to accumulate lots of construction lines so if you can remember to keep your construction lines as light as possible and 
Now, if we want to add some detail, say we're going to add windows, I could kind of equally space some points there and moving from our vanishing point to our points we've selected and we've divided this building up. So now I'm going to add some window detail. Now on this building I just created a grid so I created these points here, drew these lines and then I equally spaced windows down. This building I, I made different just for interest to make the buildings slightly different. This one I recessed backwards and then So, if I just add some detail here, I'll put a double line there to show that that's the corner. I can add these lines down here. Remember where your lines should be. There. We could add shops or something here. So there we've got this building here. Now, as you can see here, I've added another other details here and here. So let's just look at the pavement detail. So the pavement detail is quite simple. We pick a point and we go back and go back. And if we wanted to add some pavement over here, and this is where you need the slightly longer ruler, I'm on the vanishing point, I'm there. So if we come over here, and then we pick a point here, and here, and we've got, we've added this corner detail here. Now I've put a lamppost in there, and I've added some um, pavement that goes round round here. I've added pavement there. So this we could add. We can add some detail, uh, just a curb height, and here, again, anything, even a thickness here, if we go from the vanishing point to where and you'll find, as I say, if you as you're working, if you take out these construction lines, um, so I'm going to add in a, a top detail of this building here. So you could even create a high street or a road near you. Um, and so I'm going to so there if I want to come here I can put the thing here and down to here that detail will actually disappear behind there and so there's the basics of the two point perspective perspective cityscape and you can see in about in a few minutes I've started to create buildings in a street I've got a street corner here I could extend this down from the vanishing point along this line and create another street corner here if I wanted to as I say it's how long you want to spend on it I spent 
a bit more time adding detail to that but that is a two-point perspective cityscape drawing thank you for watching